Hi everyone. Today I will share with you the most easiest and guaranteed way to propagate any aglonema by anyone. It is by using the stem cutting method and placing it into water. Why cutting and placing stem into water is the best method? In my experience, I found if I place the stem without root directly into soil, sometimes the stem gets rotten and die. Even if it survives, most of the leaves will wither away. For example, this cutting. This one, I cut here and place it directly into soil like this. See what happened to the stem? It is getting rotten. Okay, this will always happen. Okay, if you cut the stem without root and place it into soil like this, the chances for the uh, the stem to die off is very high. Okay, but when I cut the stem and place it into water, okay, it will always produce root. So that is why I prefer cutting the stem and placing it into the soil. Now the remaining cutting of the stem, right? Okay, from the mother plant. Okay, you don't have to worry about because this will never die off. Okay, even though you already cut it away, right? What will happen? Okay, it will eventually produce many shoots like this. As you can see here, this is one of the cutting that I took out. Okay, this is one of the plant. Okay, now you can see there is a lot of new shoots coming out, right? Okay, now what will happen is that. All these will become into new stems, right? Okay, grow and become a very bushy plant. So, if you have a plant, okay, with a single uh, stem like this, for example, just a single stem, right? Okay, and you want to make it bushy, what you do? You just cut the stem here, okay, and leave it. The surrounding of this remaining mother stems, right? Okay, will produce a lot of shoots like this, and will become a very bushy plant like this one, as you can see here, right? This uh, silver queen. If you can see here, this is actually same like this. Okay, there was a lot of uh, huge, uh, thick stems. I cut it away to make it very bushy. Okay, As you can see here. Let me see if I can show you the cuttings. Yeah, you can see here. There is a stem, right? This is one of the stems that I cut. Okay. And you can see there's a lot of new growth okay as you can see this is one of the another stem okay and this one all uh, new growth okay so eventually it will become very bushy like this as you can see here right so this one can become like this so one single stem if you cut away like this one okay you can produce a lot of new offshoots here and become very bushy plant like this okay there are two ways you can cut the stem one is by cutting the stem with root like this meaning you take out the entire mother plant from the pot and cut out one stem with at least one root connected to the stem now this one because it has root you can plant directly into your preferred pot okay the second method is by simply cutting the stem without root like this as you can see here this is the plant that i'm going to do the cutting okay this is the stem that I already cut, okay, it was here like this, okay, already cut. So it doesn't matter where you want to cut the stem, okay, you can cut it here and place it into the water or you can cut it here, you can place it into the water. Now what will happen, let's say you cut the stem here, a new shoot will come out here, okay, with the remaining stem, okay, the one that you cut, you can just place it into water directly, like this one, you see. This is the one that I cut, okay? So it doesn't, as I mentioned again, earlier, again, it doesn't matter at which end you cut, okay? Whether at node or no node, okay? It doesn't really matter. It will always produce root if you cut the stem like this and you place it into water. So that is why I said earlier, this is a guaranteed method, all right? So let me show you how this will happen, what will happen for this cutting in two to three weeks. As you can see here, there's a lot of cuttings, okay, in this uh, particular pot, okay. This one, for example, okay, I cut this three weeks ago and I placed it into a vase with a water and see what has happened after three weeks, okay, there's a lot of new roots. This one is ready to be planted into a soil, into a potting, into a well-draining potting mix, right? That you prefer okay now 
this one you can either leave it into a vase with a water like this and just place it uh, on your dining table or coffee table anywhere okay it will still look beautiful okay but this is ready to be transferred into soil okay so yeah that's how you you do it okay uh, in my experience i found okay if you put the stem into water the rooting part of the stem never rots okay and the leaf will never wither away okay that is the reason i mentioned earlier okay i prefer uh, this method of propagating the agronimas okay now that you know how i propagate all my agronimas easily why don't you try it just follow what i say and it will definitely work okay do let me know in the comment okay after you try it so that's all for now everyone thank you for watching and i hope you like this video stay safe goodbye